What's up, IHS? I'm your host, Nathaniel Simons. And I'm Ren Hogue. This week, we'll be talking about school maintenance issues, the recent girls varsity hockey senior night, the Commons Chili Cook-Off, and some weather. There has been an increase in the number of maintenance issues throughout IHS. Without a doubt, there have always been minor problems that have irritated students in the bathrooms and hallways, but these small issues have evolved into a larger one. In the boys' bathrooms, there tend to be only one or two functioning sinks, while usually two or three don't. In fact, our crew found that there was only one boys' bathroom in the entire main school building that had all sinks functioning. Along with this, in the hallways, there are a handful of missing and water-stained ceiling tiles. In some spots, the missing tiles expose wiring within the ceiling. Lana Craig, a respected Spanish teacher at IHS, has had to deal with a drastic change in her classroom due to structural issues. In various parts of the building, there were leaks in the, in the roof that caused problems with staining and moisture. She says, the moisture caused the tiles that were adhering to the floor to lift up. The problem was that with those lifting up, it exposes the asbestos that can flow in the air. Ms. Craig had the choice to either hold her classes in varying empty classrooms throughout the day or cover her entire floor in doormats and rugs. The school's maintenance issues have affected teachers and students alike and could become safety hazards in the near future. And now to Ben and Jackson with sports. Welcome to Laugh and Oats. On January 17th, the girls hockey team had a strong showing for their senior night against Oswego. Defeating the Bucks 3-2, the team's leading point scorer, Captain Kilty Goodrow, will be attending the University of Vermont, where she plans to continue playing hockey. Assistant Captain, number four, Reed Baker, will be attending Nazareth College, where we play in the lacrosse for the Golden Flyers. Captain Kylie Howe, number five, will be attending the University of Louisville to play lacrosse. Back to you, men. Men. This past Saturday was the 21st annual Downtown Ithaca Chili Cook-Off. Cook-Off featured chili from over 40 restaurants, alcohol tastings, other foods, and a facial hair contest. The 2019 People's Choice winner of the Cook-Off was Ithaca Beer. Simeon's won the award for Best Presentation, the winner for Best Meat Chili was McCormick's Cornell Dining, and Moose would won Best Vegetarian Chili. And now we have the first installment of our brand new weather segment. Roll the clip! Hi, Chess. I'm your Chief Meteorologist, Marshall McGrath, here to bring you guys the weather. Currently, it's quite cold and I'm outside, so if I'm rushing things, bear with me. At the moment, it's 43 degrees, and we have about a 50% chance of rain today, so just be prepared, wear a coat, have an umbrella. And if my sources are correct, then we will have a high of 36 and a low of 16 this weekend, so stay bundled up. That obviously means don't wear shorts, wear your pants, wear your sweatshirts, wear your jackets, and wear the Tims. Thanks, Marshall and Ren. Well, that's it for this week, IHS. See you in March. No, today, I just woke up, and I like said, this. no, instead of waiting on a good day, waiting around, through ups and downs, waiting on something to happen, I just said,